Hi everyone, right we're back again with some more bling wheels, some more bling wheels. Yeah, I liked them so much, I ordered some more. Be rude not to. So these are going on the Smokey and the Bandit trailer. Because I think it deserves it. That is... What it's going on, it's going to be replacing the stock Tamiya chrome plated wheels. Look at that. Now these are again from an eBay seller called I Love Tea Time. This time I'm going to leave a description link. So check below to the direct link to their web page. I believe they're made by Lisu. Although the only marking on the box is this label. Yeah, very good. So let's get started. So as before, come in a nice box so they don't get bashed around. The wheels are in um, one piece. There's nothing to assemble on that. Try and stay in shot. So, two spiders, two hubs, and a packet of hardware clamps and bolts. Okay, the only thing we need here is 7mm, 5.5 tweezers, and the special tool that I had made. In the previous video, um, I have ordered some Vera um, socket nut spinners. So, without further ado, let's get assembling. Now, on the last video, somebody commented that I made this tool go in the clamp like this and as it was pointed out I've put them in the wrong way because they do not go in like this they don't go in like that. Instead, they flip over. And the little angle return points downwards, so it kind of grips onto the rim, as they do in real Let me focus that like they do in real spider Dayton style rims. Okay, let's get putting these together. I'm just going to um, use this with my fingers first. Lift that up, line it in, and then just use this with my fingers. There we go. Dead easy. So at some point, I'm going to have to um, take apart the ones on the BJ and the Bear truck. So they ain't going in something like that. Which makes sense because there is a small gap down that side. Fantastic. Right. Let's get cracking with these. Focus. Thank you. Right. So I'm going to get stuck in with um, how many is that? six to each wheel. Six, 12, 18 and ooh, 24. Okay.
Oh, okay. Bit of a speedy, speedy. Let's snug these up. Finger. Just finger tight for now. are in place and I have one spare. Cool beans. Now to snug them up, not too tight, only need to be a little bit. They're not really holding any great uh, weight on them. Just so I can feel some pressure. Excellent. And now you can see that they fit just in there nicely. Excellent. Right. Just double checking that I have one clamp spare. We've got six in each of those. And we've got six in each of those, so that can go back in the bag. Right, let's get these off. Don't need the five and a half anymore. Tweezers are my special tool. So, Yeah, don't lose the hexes. And again, Tamiya wheels. Um, these must be about six years old. Still weathered very well. And I don't glue my rims on. Never carry any great deal of load. To bead uh, first they're not directional again these tires are about six years old I do run this truck but as you can see that still has its molding joint but I do run this truck maybe not outdoors but I do mold run it
then pull it onto the inner bead. They are quite easy for the tannier ones. Make sure that they are snugly on there. Beautiful. Always put mine on the outer bead first. And as you can see, it is not quite on. So just pull it up. You can feel that. If you go too far, just push it back. Brilliant. And pull them onto the inner bead. That's just popped on lovely. And as you can see, even all the way around, not touching. I just give them a bit of a stretch to make sure that they're on and they're on right i get the other side off and put them on the wheels right that's the other side done took the side off and changed the wheels they look uh, pretty good and they look ready to go on put the hexes on The axles and um, did find it easy to actually put the hex actually inside the wheel with the splines facing outwards because they are quite deep and the nut does fit on. Uh, further on to the um, shaft of the uh, axle, the output shaft. That really goes in there quite a long way. Because the one piece aluminium or aluminum, wherever you're from in the world, um, is a lot thinner than the two part uh, plastic wheels so that is that that makes your fat still stands and we can drag that this way we'll zoom in a little bit because we're going to fit the center caps, the center caps do have a hole in that fits over the thread. And I'm not putting any kind of thread lock on these because I'm not going to go mad outside. If you want to put some thread lock on, I suggest using clear nail varnish. Just one little drop on the threads. As you screw it on, it applies a very thin coat all the way around and it's easy to get off. So that's them two. Let me put the others on the other side and we'll see how it is. That's it. That is uh, the wheels fitted. We have two empty boxes. We have four spare dual wheels. And they will be going in the spare box. No idea what I'm going to use them on, but we might get them. So... There's all the trailers, let's show you around. These are the new Dayton wheels. They are fantastic, I do like those. And the clamps are on the right way around this time. Fantastic. And you'll notice also I've pulled the axles back a little bit to make it more, you know, authentic looking from the 40s got rid of the um, toggle switch for the uh, what do you call them the electric legs instead I have the shunt valve and the um, park brake 
Let me show you how they work. Then uh, that awful um, Tamiya switch that they supply you. There you go. I just wish that was uh, a feature on the real trucks. Okay, that is uh, the uh, Bandit trailer. Smokey and the Bandit trailer, the Snowman trailer. You can see there's a bit of uh, scratching on this. I take this to clubs. I run it. I'm not scared of uh, getting it a little bit um, weathered. The uh, corners are... Um, like, come on, focus, you idiot. Aluminium. Had them engineered myself. Yeah, um, around the back we have the... I put the underrun bar on. It's alright. On here we have a very fine print. Don't know if you can uh, see that, but that does actually say um, and trust me, it does say the date of birth on Burt Reynolds, Jerry Reed, and Carrie Fisher, Frog, and um, the year. That the movie came out obviously snowman plate giddy up go 19 what does that say that is red savine's um date of birth 1917 to 1980 giddy up go which is a single he turned out in 1965 pretty cool And I have the reverse lights on this. So I have double turn signals with brake lights, side lights and backup lights. And I kind of um, went to town on this. There we go. Snowman, Jerry Reed. That is all of his film characters. And um, Guitar Man, that's his singing career. Absolutely fantastic um, talent. Cause Beer, these are individual boxes that a friend um, made for me. Absolutely fantastic. And this is the uh, actual beer boxes that he they went to uh, Texarkana for, so yeah. And I just uh, stuck them together in rows because I need to get in here to uh, change the batteries. So yeah, that is Jerry Reed Snowman Trailer. Can't hold the camera at the same time. So there you go. Dayton. Wheels, brilliant. Anyhow, thanks for watching.